Good morning, boys and girls. <clears throat> okay, so in the second video, we're going to look, look at inscribed angles. <clears throat> now, in an inscribed angle, the difference is that the vertex is now on the circle itself. So you can look at all of these and see this is where my vertex is. It lies on the circle. Okay, so where in the central angle, what we just did, the angle measure and the arc measure are congruent. But in a inscribed angle, if you want to find the angle, you want to take the arc measure and divide by two. If you want to find the arc measure, you take the angle and multiply it times two, okay? So if you're finding an angle, you divide by two. If you're finding the arc measure, <clears throat> you multiply by two. So to find the angle, divide by two. The measure, multiply by two. So, <clears throat> sorry. So like for instance, in number one, we're trying to find an angle. So since we're trying to find an angle, we're gonna divide the measure, the intercepted arc by two. So what would this angle be? That's correct, the angle would be 40. Okay? Now, <clears throat> here in problem number three, I have an angle and I'm trying to find the intercepted arc. So the intercepted arc, if we extend these, the intercepted arc is this arc. It's opposite this angle. And so this arc would be 56 times two, because if I'm trying to find an arc measure, I multiply by two. So this would be 56 times two, which would be 12, 112, I think. Okay. So I'm going to leave you to find the measures of these angles and these arcs. And remember, you got a, um, you have a answer bank. So in problem number five, it seems confusing with all these lines. <clears throat> My suggestion is just to take a pen or a highlighter and just highlight what you're looking for. You're looking for this angle. And so since this angle is opposite this arc, that angle would simply be 70 divided by 2. Just so you remember how I got those. Okay? <clears throat> let's come down a little bit. Um, let's look at, like, number 8. And we're told... <clears throat> sorry that this angle is 6x plus 3. Well, its intercepting arc is here. So in order to find x, I need to know what this arc is. And I'm not told. But I do know that the arc of the entire circle, the entire circle, uh, circle measures 360. So to find this missing part, I would do 360 minus 140 minus 58 <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i wish i had a calculator to calculate that let me see if i have one on my phone <coughs> because i don't want to do it incorrectly <coughs> and mess you up i'm sorry i don't know what's going on with my throat right now so it would 360 minus 140 minus 58 and that's equal to 162. So what do we know? So do, will I set 162 equal to 6x plus 3? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Because this angle would be actually half of 162 because it's the angle. So this angle measure would actually be 162 divided by 2, which is 81, I think. So we would have to say that 6x plus 3 is equal to 81. <clears throat> and then I would solve for x, subtract 3 from both sides, <clears throat> which gives me 
<clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with my throat. Uh, which would give me 78. So 68 is equal to 78. And then divide that by 6. And X is equal to 13. Okay? And that should be in your answer bank. Uh, let's look at problem 10. This will be the last one that I will do. So let's see, 13 is in the answer bank, hopefully. There we go. So we could just mark that off. <clears throat> what other ones did we find? We found 35. So there's no, and we found 40 and 112. There's no excuse for not having at least those correct. And then you'll only have a few more to do. So then we have to remember for this one, it gets a little bit more complicated. And hint, it's sort of like number nine as well. So we have to remember the angle is half the arc or the arc length 101x minus 1 is twice. So we're going to multiply this by 2, 51x minus 1. Let me just write this down here so I'll have a little bit more space. So that will give me 101x minus 1 is equal to twice the angle 51 X minus 1 so what I would do is I would distribute so I get 101 X minus 1 is equal to uh, 102 X plus 2 I would subtract uh, probably 101 from both sides so I would <clears throat> excuse me I would subtract 101 from 102 and add 2 to the other side. I'm running out of space. So I'm going to get 3 is equal to, because I added 2, I got 3 here. I subtract 101 from 102 and I just get 1x. So I get x is equal to 3. Okay? So, and you're going to do number 9 is going to be very similar to that. Okay, boys and girls, you don't have many problems to finish on this. Go ahead and finish this page. And then when you are done, you have a delta math to do that takes about 40 minutes. And I will count that as a quiz grade. So complete the delta math assignment. The link for it is in Google Classroom. Or you can just go to delta math. And finish that up, and that's all you have to do today. Whatever you don't finish is homework, so you should have enough time to finish both of these worksheets and the Delta Math. Okay? All right, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.